So we wanted to try this together. So go to it, buddy. Let's see what we got. Oh, you can tell it's dry, huh? I don't even know if I want to taste this lobster. It should also be white. Look at the color of this lobster. Pink. That's like an old lobster. Yep. It's pink. It smells awful. That lobster smelled like <laughs> You could tell it was barely alive when it was cooked. The meat wasn't even white. Oh, God. What's the fresh cash? Fresh cash? Uh, let me check. Just you know, fresh catch today, mahi? Yeah. Yeah, mahi. Yes, mahi. Fresh mahi is fresh. Yes. Okay. Mahi is fresh. The fresh catch was like frozen, I don't know, pond bass or something like that. It was nasty. Oh my god, that's just that was so gross. It was a disgusting chunk of white, smelly. I couldn't even take a bite. This sucks. Is this um, your grog? It is. We're honestly struggling a little bit. Is this fresh? That's got to be frozen fish. Is it frozen? If it's the mahi entree, it is, yeah. It's frozen. Oh, well, it wasn't put on the plate. It wasn't put on the grill for This really was a terrible, terrible dining experience. The, the worst I've ever had was horrid. We just got to get out of here. Just, just we just, yeah. yeah. He should be bringing you back the bill, and I did take some stuff off your bill, and I apologize that things weren't up to par for working on it. After an hour inside Pirate's Tavern, Bill and Jen emerged to report their findings. First of all, thanks for doing this for me, guys. Absolutely. What'd you think? It's tough in there. The staff was really odd. It was uncomfortable. How bad was the food? The food was disgusting. It was a mahi, and it was supposed to be fresh. They were frozen products. No truth in menu. The fresh fish was frozen. It was a lie. But you sit before me saying, this is your dream. That's true. I'm realizing I might not be able to fix this bar. If Tracy doesn't change the way she thinks, she will fail. If you're not ashamed by the fact that you have menu lies, that you're serving food that is undercooked, what makes you ashamed? I have an establishment that I believe. You're not ashamed of what you're doing. No. Then I can't help you. Bullshit. What the fuck that guy talk like that, eh? Without Are you ashamed of the food that was served tonight? Nope. The food is good. Uh, your food is the worst I've ever seen. It stinks. I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Well, you should stop cooking tomorrow and not cook anymore. Your food stinks. No I had a body cook. glam about that. Let me explain something to you. She had to buy them your dinner tonight because you blew it. Because they, they cost my No, ass. because you blew it. And how dare you put hard I clean my hand too. I got my work cut out for me. You're a fool, man. Tonight is our soft opening. So today, my experts are gonna be working with the bartending staff and the kitchen staff, so that when tonight happens, hopefully we survive it. Got some nice things, fresh. Fresh cilantro, fresh tomatoes. Due to Giussiano's lack of any formal training, John has brought in Jason, a new line cook, straight out of culinary school to help support him. Welcome to the chaos. Glad to be here. And together with Chef Capon, they begin working on a new menu. Chop it up, we're gonna make a little tomato sauce for the meatballs, right? The goal here is to create a place where the business community can network for lunch and after work. So I've created a simple menu with small plates where everything can be shared. What's this? Nice, small, uh, sweet love shrimp. This Do you think this is lobster? Shrimp, yeah. What is this? Shrimp. Okay, you wanna be a chef or you wanna play games? It's shrimp, right? I think the soft tofu is gonna be a little tough. Tiziano, are you working? Let's go. Don't give a <laughs> the Don't give a To be completely honest, I have no idea how this place has been doing whatever they've been doing. I have no idea what they've been doing, but I don't know how they've been doing anything at all with... Is there anything else I can get you? What food would you recommend? We have a mahi-mahi appetizer. Um, you like fish? The fish sounds kind of good. Do you like the black and the fried? Fried will be good. Okay. So one thing he definitely did, he just pulls them out of the fryer. Yep. No paper towel, no nothing to absorb that extra grease. Things come out of the fryer, you season them immediately, and you get them on a drain pan. They weren't being drained, they weren't being seasoned. The runners were not there to run the food. The product should be at the customer a long time ago. Yeah, baby. I think that's because the runner just got here. Mia, you showed up. Mia? Yes, Daddy. What is your problem? I have so much stuff to do. It's all good. Clock in, you go to work. There's lost revenue right there. Of course. Look at her. She's just standing there playing with her hair. The food just sits there. 
will corroborate. Oh my gosh, who's here in my food? Look at the hair. Look at this, Josh. Ah! After picking through it, I find a long blonde hair sitting in my food, and that's the absolute worst. This is not my hair. At that point, you're done. It's over. You lost your appetite. You don't want to eat it anymore. So gross. I can't believe what I just saw. A greasy, disgusting kitchen, terrible drinks, and a hair and food. I've seen enough. It's time to fix this bar. Yes. And you can get them raw or steams. What about you? What about this mahi bowl? You want to do that? Can you add an order of crab to that, please? Okay, there are the oysters. She certainly knows how to shuck an oyster. I was about to say, she knows what yeah. she's doing. My evil. Crab legs. Let me get you some silverware and napkins and stuff. I don't like that. It's like over buttery and as greasy as hell. Crab legs are typically not greasy. No. He's using his mouth because they didn't give him a cracker. We do not have crackers here. I do not know why, okay. but we don't have crackers. I mean, how much does that cost? Nothing. It's probably 100 bucks, right? For 12 of them. We've had so many complaints of not having crackers that hopefully the owner gets a case or a couple of cases. He actually said to him, now people ask him all the time, we don't have them. Because of the boss. I would, I would have left by now. I want to hear what they really think of this. I'm going to go in and talk to them. Sorry, guys. So how was the crab? Buttery. They didn't have the uh, utensils, proper utensils. So you couldn't crack, so you tried to crack them open with your teeth. Right. They gave you no utensils. You guys know party bars. Right. Is there anything party bar about this place? No. Oh. I'm just going to do a classic burger. I'd like the fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. And then a Philly cheesesteak as well. Yeah. Hey, there's one. Okay. That's the fish. It's pretty firm. Because it's frozen. Now, when you put the seasoning and then drop it on the grill, what happens to the seasoning? Burn, baby, burn. That's why we marinate instead. This sandwich with coleslaw. That's me. Okay. And then um, a bacon cheeseburger. This bar doesn't realize that the third guest is me. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to sit next to these guys, and I'm going to taste this food, and I'm going to give you the scoop myself. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Promise. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah. When I saw John sit at the bar, I, I knew uh, it was time for a reckoning. I'm really curious to see what, what you think of that fish sandwich. It's a little soggy. They took two frozen fish fillets and dropped them on the flat top. Mm. And when you cook fish frozen, it gets all soggy in the inside. Jerry, I want you to hear what I saw. Your cook took two pieces of frozen fish. Correct. In his bare hands, no glove, okay. put them both on the grill. See all that black on the top of that fish? That's burnt seasoning. You don't put the seasoning on and then put it down on the grill. Then he took that same hand that had the raw fish, the raw burger, and the raw beef, picked up my bun with his hands covered in raw product. That entire kitchen is completely cross-contaminated. You're gonna kill somebody. Uh, the water's not at a boil. This water is not at a boil. And it's not going to cook properly. It's going to be served with bacteria on it. When you drop a lobster in a pot of water that's not boiling, not only will you not bring it to temperature, but you'll kill it slowly. This is inhumane. Yummy, yummy. She seems to be very proud about that lobster, John. It was kind of... All right, that lobster stinks. We both know it, right? Yeah. Let's go in here. I want to see what's going on. I want to run in there quickly before Russell eats this lobster. I can't believe how bad it looks. I've got to see it with my own eyes. They're here. When I saw John walk in, I didn't know what to expect. I'm John. Hi, John. I'm Lana. Hi, Lana. Nice to meet you. This is a friend of mine, Russell Davis. 
So we wanted to try this together. So go to it, buddy. Let's see what we got. Oh, you can tell it's dry, huh? I don't even know if I want to taste this lobster. It should also be white. Look at the color of this lobster. Pink. That's like an old lobster. Yeah. It's pink. It smells awful. That lobster smelled like <laughs> You could tell it was barely alive when it was cooked. The meat wasn't even white. Oh, God. Yep. I'm sorry I did that. Now, about the easiest thing in the world to cook is a lobster. When it's cooked at the right temperature, water doesn't come out of it like this. What happens is the water wasn't brought to a boil, and it took them minutes to die. Inhumane, disrespectful to the animal. So the easiest thing there is almost anywhere to cook, you guys blew in every way. And now I look around this room, and I get why it's empty. I'm here to save this business. And this is going to kill this business. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.